We did our project on cultural revolution. A ruler named Sherman Mao created it. Olds were laws that were known for supporting old habits, old culture, old ideas, and old customs. Most of the olds were educators or teachers. The Red Guards were forced to wear red armbands and were to carry a little red book at all times. The book was filled with lots of quotes that Mao said. If they were not succeeding in their commitments, they would be get beaten and sometimes killed. People who enforced these laws and beatings were called Red Guards. Red Guards would sometimes force educators to kneel in glass and say confessions of their wrongdoings. The strange, the strange thing is that Mao was an educator, and he was spared. Not only that, he was a Red Guard's inspiration. Red Guards would do destructive things such as invade and rob stores, also homes. They destroyed antiques and monuments, defied the parents, and beat and abused teachers. Before Mao died, which was in 1976, there was a lot of people, a lot of poverty from 1966 through 1969, and hundreds of people, hundreds of thousands of people died. After Mao died, his successor named Dae Jong Ping thought he was 70% correct and 30% wrong based on Mao's actions. Do it. We're talking about him. I think it said he was. And then go back. Although there was poverty while he was in control, he did some good. He united the country and freed it from foreign domination. He also built a very strong army. G gave equality for women. Basically, what some people pe people thought was China would be a broken country without a okay. Zhang Xiaoping was definitely a humble achiever. He was the least known. He was born in 1904 and died in 1997. China thought of him as the most influential man in the 20th century. So basically, the terrible beatings all ended after Mao died. Zhang Xiaoping stopped all of it, and that is why Dong is so important to modern China today. Credits.